What is up guys? Welcome back. Today I want to talk about fast heart rate in association with anxiety, a very common symptom of anxiety. Go ahead and smash that like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Leave me a comment down below as well. Let me know if you struggle with this symptom of anxiety. It's very common. You're not alone. I know a lot of you think that you're alone, but you're not. And I dealt with this symptom pretty much every single day. Well, actually every single day for years, okay? Um, I'm not a licensed mental health professional, just so you guys know, so I can't diagnose you, can't really encourage or discourage medication. And I'm also not a medical doctor. In fact, I encourage you guys, all of you, to make sure that you at least try to see a therapist or a psychologist. At least try it, okay? And also, go see a medical doctor if you haven't regarding any type of symptom of anxiety. If you haven't been, get that initial reassurance because it's so important to get that relief and to just know that you're being told that you are fine, okay? That you are healthy from an actual professional doctor. So do that. If you have and, and you're still struggling with these symptoms, then this video is for you, okay? Because I love to give reassurance if, if, if you're going through anxiety disorders because I dealt with just about every symptom in the book. So why is this happening, guys? Before we do this, I want you to know that now I'm actually offering live coaching. It's in the description and in the first pinned comment. If you need help and you've been wondering on how to get in contact with me to help you with your anxiety, this is a perfect opportunity for you. Just email me and let me know that you're interested. It's down below um, and then I'll let you know what we offer, what I offer, excuse me, and then we'll get you booked right away and get this thing going. I love it, it's fulfilling. I've had lots of great reviews. Many of you have seen those, so jump on that if you're ready to speed up your recovery with anxiety. Because if I recovered, I would love to help you and show you that it's possible as well. So guys, fast heart rate, what's happening, okay? Generally, whenever we get super, super anxious, we tend to go into fight or flight mode. And what happens with this is adrenaline gets flowing throughout our body because we are doing what? We are trying to run away or fight off something dangerous. The problem is, is the things that we're dealing with and fearing are not overly dangerous at all, okay? They're normal situations. Like for instance, if you have social anxiety, you're probably fearful of, of going out and about, uh, being in crowds, talking to people. These things seem dangerous to you, but they're not. But they still trigger the same response. Health anxiety, you have a dull ache, you think that you're dying, so it triggers the same response. It could be taking a test, performance, it's a, guys, it could be anything, all right? But it just sends us to that overwhelming state of anxiety, and especially if you have panic attacks, guys, you know how this feels. So the adrenaline gets going, something else happens. Your heart rate speeds up because now you're having to pump blood through your body faster to get it to vital organs at a quicker pace to help you, okay, to run away or fight something off. With this comes tons of other symptoms, which I won't get all into, but the muscle tension, the breathing, uh, the tightness, all of that stuff that comes with this, and then all the hundreds of symptoms of anxiety that many of you have felt. But today, we're talking about heart rate. Now, I get this all the time, is my heart normal? Is, it, is my heart rate normal? Um, assuming that you've been to the doctor and told that you're fine, anxiety can do a lot of funny things with your heart rate. Now, for me, I'm just gonna tell you my numbers, all right? Now, this isn't whenever I was asleep, but just during the day, all right, my normal resting heart rate, just to give you some guys some reassurance, it's anywhere from 95 to 110. Like, that was just at rest. Whenever I had panic attacks, it would get up anywhere from 160 to 180 was the highest I saw. I don't know if it got any higher than that, bless my heart. Um, I would have five to 10 panic attacks a day, so I was always in this fight or flight mode nonstop. So if your heart rate is going really, really fast and you have anxiety, I mean, come on, you have to eventually just accept that this is a part of that and try not to focus on it as scary as it can be, but I believe that that's the foundation of overcoming anxiety, but especially health anxiety. It's acceptance and then not focusing on that, and I show you how to do that with my life coaching. Um, but yeah, fast heart rate, it was something that I really struggled with. Um, it really made me feel like there was something wrong with my heart. Um, and, and sometimes this would happen super, super quick. So the minute I would feel a symptom, um, I would have this really quick shot of adrenaline, and just like that, my heart would be super freaking fast it was scary it's just about about every panic attack that i had that's how it started was just this crazy palpitation and it would just take off to the races so if you've dealt with this you are not alone i'm telling you i know it's scary some things that can help with this obviously lowering your anxiety to a low enough level so you don't get to that overwhelming state where you go into uh, fight or flight or panic mode um, because once you get there it is hard to settle down but breathing techniques have been known for a lot of people to reduce your heart rate and blood pressure immediately. 
Um, so look up some breathing techniques. There's tons of them out there. I did a video, the 478 method. So this is something that you might want to try. Um, but trying to keep your muscles relaxed throughout the day. There's progressive muscle relaxation exercises. Those are amazing. So we're just trying to keep our anxiety down enough to where we just don't go into the fight or flight mode. I think that's a great stepping stone to overcoming anxiety. That's what I had to do. So then I would put a few good days in between the bad days and then that would just grow from there. And it was like a snowball. I had a lot of momentum. So if you're dealing with fast heart rates due to anxiety and you've been seen by a doctor probably many times and told that you are fine, just understand that that is a very normal part of anxiety and that your body is just trying to protect you from danger. So your heart has to beat fast to get blood to your organs so you can actually fight or run away. But the problem is, is that we're not actually in that action. We're not fighting anything off or running. So now we're here sitting here focusing and super hyper aware and hypersensitive to our sensations that we're feeling in our body and it becomes that much scarier. And, and then in return, the, the symptoms actually start triggering further anxiety and uh, you get off into this whole new cycle. So guys, if you're done with this, you know, my heart goes out to you. Make sure that you're doing all the right things and that you're fighting. My tips for anxiety are down below. If you want some extra help with this and extra guidance, I would love to be able to provide that for you. Uh, so I do offer live coaching in the description. First pin comment, send me an email. Let me know if you're interested. Guys, like this video if you got value, all right? Remember, you are not alone. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell so you get updates when I put my videos out. Lots of resources in the description, so check that out if you want to help with, uh, if you want help with anxiety. Excuse me, I can't talk today. I just can't talk. I just can't do it. Um, try to see if I left anything out. Guys, I love you all. I'm going to get back to this normal routine of uh, creating videos for you. Uh, I would love to do it daily, but uh, every two days seems to be a great uh, starting point. Two to three days. Um, I'm going to try to stick to that. So guys, I love you. Keep fighting. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.